Surprisingly, the impact of the pandemic in 2020 on the secondary market has been fairly minimal. Of course, if you look at the headline numbers, the market is down 25% from 80 billion of transactions in 2019 to 60 billion in 2020. But this is mainly because of Q2 last year, when the whole world was on standby going through uh, the first phase of, uh, of the pandemic. We've seen a very strong pickup in the second half of, of 2020 uh, with, with a lot of transaction, mainly with, with, with GP-led. And we do expect 2021 to show a substantial uh, rebound compared to, uh, to 2020 in terms of transaction volumes. The main motivations are similar to what we've seen post the global financial crisis, active portfolio management, and the need to increase liquidity will continue to drive selling volumes uh, in the private equity secondaries market. As an example, in our latest uh, barometer, 84% of respondents think that increased liquidity uh, in their portfolio will be a main driver for them to come to the secondary market to, to, to sell part of their uh, part of their portfolio. For those who want to invest in uh, secondaries, what we see is that you have more and more private equity portfolios with a dedicated pocket to secondaries because uh, the risk return combination remains one of the most attractive products in the private equity asset class. If anything, the pandemic has fueled the growth of the GP-led market because it has extended the duration of private equity portfolios and GPs have found the secondary market as a very valuable tool in order to provide early liquidity to their investors. Those investors who benefit from, in a way, maximum optionality, they can sell the assets and get liquidity or they can extend and roll into new vehicles. Which is why, uh, as we saw in our latest barometer, 85% of them see those transactions are very positive when well executed. <music>